Welcome to the Oracle Utilities Live Energy Connect Configuration Manager Training, an introduction to LEC Configuration Manager and LEC Server. After completing this video, you'll understand the functionality of Oracle Utilities Live Energy Connect or LEC Configuration Manager and LEC Server. Identify the key components of LEC Configuration Manager and understand key concepts and terms such as virtual manufacturing device or VMD, batch files, prototype nodes, and macro PDI files. Here is a conceptual map of the LEC configuration manager with LEC server. Now this is not what you'll see when you open your software, but it illustrates how LEC configuration manager and LEC server work. And it's important you understand that the changes you make in LEC Configuration Manager change how your LEC server is configured. I know, it's a lot of information to take in at once, but don't worry. I'll explain more about the different aspects of this map throughout the video. So, what is Live Energy Connect or LEC Configuration Manager? Well, LEC Configuration Manager is a graphical user interface used for placing all configuration objects, such as virtual devices, connections, and nodes into the LEC server during the configuration process. And it runs in a separate process on the same computer as LEC server. Here is an example of a possible configuration of an LEC server. There are really an unlimited number of possible configurations, with the only constant being this configuration virtual manufacturing device, or VMD. So what is a VMD? A VMD is used to represent component devices and systems and connect to devices that live outside the LEC server or to other VMDs on the LEC server. So changes you make in Configuration Manager go through the configuration VMD and change how your LEC server looks and is configured. Now let me show you how our software works. This is an example LEC server configuration. On the left, you'll see a remote virtual control center or VCC at company A and a remote VCC at company B. Both are using the Enter Control Center protocol or ICCP protocol to communicate with another VCC, VMD. On the right, you'll see another device using Distributed Network Protocol, or DNP 3.0, to talk to a VMD in our LEC server as well. We also have a third party or external database here running through a script VMD in the LEC server. This script may be pulling information from the database or storing information in the database or possibly both. Now, as you can see, we have a processor VMD. This VMD takes an input of a certain protocol and outputs it as a different protocol. So for example, information coming from the DNP 3.0 device goes through the DNP 3.0 VMD and into the processor VMD. It outputs into the ICCP VCC VMD protocol for the remote VCC at company A or company B to understand. Another example is information from remote VCC at company A goes to ICCP VCC VMD using ICCP protocol, then going through the processor VMD and out the script VMD to be stored in a third party or external database in a language the database understands. You may remember at the top of the conceptual map of Oracle Utilities LEC configuration manager I showed you earlier, there are these batch files. Batch files are used to import hundreds or thousands of data points. We understand you may not have a lot of devices to connect to your LEC configuration manager, and we don't expect you to sit, point, and click all day. That's why we created 
prototype nodes. With prototype nodes, you can describe a certain type of node and what you would like to do with it. Then you can import batch files, which can be CSV or JSON files. These files have headers that are prototype points and content that can be hundreds or thousands of points. We'll go over this in a future video, but I want to give you an idea of the capabilities of the LEC Configuration Manager. Now, let's get back to our conceptual map of Oracle Utilities LEC Configuration Manager. This is the Configuration SQLite database configuration file. Along with any batch files, this file defines your LEC server configuration. So you can turn off your LEC server, and when you turn it back on, the configuration information in this file will be used by the LEC server. On our map here, you'll also see these Programmable Data Interface, or PDI, macro files. PDI macros define the abstract objects you see in the LEC Configuration Manager. For example, nodes and connectors in a way that the LEC server's internal processes can understand. They're needed to run your LEC configuration. The PDI macros your configuration uses are shipped with the product. Sometimes the software may prompt you to reload macros used in an LEC configuration after a customer has updated their LEC software. After reloading macros, the updated PDI macros will now be stored in the database configuration file. In this tutorial, you learn the functionality of Oracle Utilities LEC Configuration Manager and LEC Server. You also learn key components of LEC Configuration Manager and key concepts and terms such as VMD, batch files, prototype nodes, and macro PDI files. Be on the lookout for more videos that go through the ins and outs of the LEC Configuration Manager and LEC Server at Oracle University at education.oracle.com. Thanks for watching and be well.